Erwin Johannes Eugen Rommel was born in Heidenheim, Germany, on November 15, 1891, to Erwin Rommel Sr., his father, and Aline von Luz, his mother, as the second of four children. In July 1910, urged by his father, Rommel became the first of his family to join the military. In World War I, Rommel fought in France, Romania, and Italy. During his time, he learned how to flank enemy positions by ways of covering fire and capturing the enemy by surprise. After Germany's defeat in World War I, Rommel was assigned to the 124th Division, which he held for nine years. Later, he was assigned to train troops at Dresden Infantry School, where he wrote his first book slash manual, a manual on infantry training. Then, when stationed at Gosler, he first met Hitler, who was inspecting his troops. In 1939, Rommel was promoted to general major and put in charge of protecting Hitler and his field headquarters during the invasion of Poland, where Rommel learned of Hitler's use of panzer and armor divisions. After the invasion of Poland, Rommel, with the help of Hitler, was appointed commander of the 7th Panzer Division, where he would help in the invasion of France. After invading France in 1941, Rommel was assigned command of the Douche Africa Corps, or DAC, where his tank tactics in the desert by outflanking the British in open desert and unnoticed gave him the nickname the Desert Fox. Rommel kept the offensive against the British, denying them the chance to set up defenses until he was told that supplies were running low by his supply officers, since Rommel had forgot to advise him of his intentions. And so they fell back after capturing Serenica, and, except for Tobruk, which laid under siege until the British relieved them after Rommel had called off his attacks. After being resupplied at least 55 new tanks and even more supplies, on January 5th, 1942, Rommel planned a counterattack against the Allies. On January 21st, Rommel's attack surprised the Allies, which resulted in over 110 Allied tanks destroyed as well as a heavy equipment. And after both battles of El Alamein and El Al Halfa, as well as the shortage of supplies because of Hitler's Operation Barbarossa, Rommel had to retreat and never return to Africa on March 9, 1943, which resulted in Germany losing the Africa campaign. After a short period of time of command in, in Italy, Rommel was flown into Normandy, France, in early November 1944 to inspect the defenses of the Atlantic Wall. Which, in which Rommel, when he arrived, was shocked at the state of disrepair and defense preparations, and so was allowed to spruce up the defenses for if the Allies decided to land. However, Hitler had decided to keep the SS Panzer Corps that he, only he could move near Paris, which made it almost useless for Rommel to stage a proper counterattack. By June 6th, Rommel had returned to celebrate his wife's birthday when the Allies invaded Normandy. After Rommel was informed, he drove back to Germany and arrived at headquarters at 10 p.m. to prepare for a defense against the Reich. On July 20th, the Allies had started to push into Europe, and Hitler had just had an another attempt on his life. By October, Rommel was considered a co-conspirator in the bombing and was visited by Wilhelm Bergdorf and Ernest Mazel in his home and told Rommel to either die now or die later. Rommel chose the latter, and on October 14, 1944, Rommel committed suicide wearing his field marshal outfit that he wore in his Africa campaign and, and died outside of his home.